welcome back to my channel i hope everyone is having a great day and today in the kitchen i will be showing you guys how to make the most delicious one pot chicken and potatoes to get started here i have five chicken thighs that i went ahead and washed and for the seasonings i'll be using some seasoned salt sazon complete seasoning black pepper chicken bouillon garlic and onion powder paprika and some poultry seasoning i also have some oil here and fresh green seasoning which i will leave the link to this down in the description box let's get started so to begin you want to combine all of your seasonings mix them really well and then we will add some of it to a separate bowl which we will be using for our vegetables Next, you want to combine the rest of the ingredients. We'll add the oil to the seasonings as well as our green seasoning. We will mix it into a paste-like consistency and then we'll start applying it to the chicken thighs. You want to rub it in, make sure that it's well massaged into the thighs, lift the skin, put some of it underneath the skin and make sure that the chicken thighs are fully coated. Once we're done, we'll cover it and allow it to sit and marinate for at least two hours. Now mine was marinating for about six hours, but if you don't have all that time, the least time you want to let it sit is for about two hours because you know, you, you don't want to rush this process. If you want uh, this chicken to be tasting amazing, you want to allow it to marinate. Next, I'll be using my cast iron skillet because we will be placing this directly inside of the oven. I did went ahead and butter the bottom of the skillet first and now I'll add the vegetables. We'll add some potatoes, carrots, bell peppers and some onions. You want to add a little bit of oil, whether it's olive oil or canola oil, any oil of your choice. You want to drizzle some oil over top of the vegetables and then we'll add that seasoning that we set aside. You want to mix really well until the vegetables are nicely coated with the seasonings and then we will place our chicken thighs right over top. We will place this in a 400 degree oven for about 1 hour and 10 minutes. It all depends on what type of potatoes you're using and how big are your chicken thighs, the cooking time because maybe you're using the smaller thighs and you're using uh, russet potatoes or red skin potatoes, those cook faster. So, you know, it, it just depends. But you wanna place this into the oven for at least an hour. This took about an hour and 10 minutes. And once we're done, I will show you guys the finished product. And after about one hour and 10 minutes, this is what we have here. Amazing one pot chicken and potatoes. Now, because my skillet was a bit too small, I removed some of the chicken thighs and potatoes just to get to the juiciness at the bottom there. And what I did was just drizzle that sauce all over top of those chicken thighs. And I did it with the potatoes as well before I serve them. So that's what you wanna do, get in there and just smother your chicken thighs and potatoes with the juices. And then I served it up on a plate and my family enjoyed it. The chicken was juicy, tender, flavorful, as well as the vegetables. And it was quick, easy, and simple. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. If you enjoy my video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to hit me up on IG or Facebook at Candy the Glam Cook. If you've tried any of my recipes, I would love to see your pictures and chat with you guys. You know, don't be scared, I won't bite. <laughs> and I will leave all my ingredients down in the description box and I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good day and bye-bye.